you ever think of Sweden? When I think of my father. But it's all so long ago. Growing up is terrible, my dear. When Papa died, four men dressed in black carried his dead body to his grave. It was the depth of winter, and the grave had been dug since autumn, for we were expecting him to die. The earth was so hard, we had to do that in parts of Sweden. If there was a sudden death, even a child, we wrapped them in snow. What happened when it melted? We buried them, of course. Birds sing. That is a sentence. One day in school, the teacher told us that every sentence needed three words, a subject, a predicate, and an object. A boy I loved, he said, birds sing. That is a sentence, only two words in it. Why have I remembered that? I know, I dreamt of him recently. He was still young, but even in my dream, I was an old man. Did he still love you? I said I loved him, and in the dream, I still did. Did he love you? I didn't ask him. It would not have been polite. I was a well-brought-up boy. They don't fall ecstatically in love. <laughs> Spare me your Russian extremes. They bore me. Mr. Wallenberg is bored, then. Frequently. Shall I banish this boredom? in the lap, cradling. You know that. If our Lord had lived, he would have resembled you. <laughs> From ecstasies to mysticism, my dear, I cannot keep up with you. Such violent swings of mood, you'll have me quite convinced. <laughs> should stop mutilating your wrists at will. You will ruin your wrist. A pretty wrist is a young Russian's most precious asset. Keep it intact, my dear. They are the reason I may remain with you. So you're not mad? No more than you are. I once was. So was I. And yet you stay here? As have you. Why? I was ordered to. You would be a hero. No, I would be an example. Every generation, one just man among the Gentiles. I would justify the war for the Allies. There were no Allies, only enemies. I preferred the punishment of the enemy to the adulation of my Allies. I did not play the game, my dear. All games have rules, and war has more than most games. The first rule is that peace as much as war requires its fucking heroes, and I am no one's fucking hero in war or in peace. You were a saviour to many... What, men. Jews? Do you know, I, I cannot remember the face of one Jew I am said to have saved. But one knows otherwise, even in Russia, we know... I remember none! I remember... I remember the face of the boy I loved at school. 
I remember my father's funeral. That night for supper, we ate roast turkey and apple. It was like my 10th birthday. I cannot say for sure. I am an, I'm an old man. I know nothing for sure. Sorry for upsetting you, Mr. Wallenberg. Mr. Wallenberg. There's no such person. He vanished after the war. It was a consequence of war, his disappearance. I must live with this hard fact. I'm an old man in a mental home in the middle of Russia, and that's all there is to it. I have brought you a gift. like it? Why should I? Because I'm giving it to you. As a consequence of your love? Were you to die, and I to die with you, we would continue living in this knife with which we took our life. After they'd cleaned it of blood, it would still be useful for cutting things. And it's imperative that our death be useful when our lives, as you say, have been useless. Well, I don't need to be forgotten. My dear, it is terrible to grow suicidal. My dear, as you yourself say, it is terrible to grow old. My father died of natural causes. I killed mine. <sighs> so sorry. He was a hero. I loved him. He fought in the war. He survived. He escaped. You may have saved him. Thank you. Yes. Wrap your bandages around that knife. There was a woman, an old woman I met in Budapest, a Jew. I remember her speaking to me in the most beautiful French. <laughs> As a diplomat, I was, of course, fluent in that language. Ah oui, bien sûr, madame. Suddenly, she lowered her voice. J'ai envie de vous faire confiance. And she whispered. Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? I nodded. I am growing confused. You try to understand me. I must trust you. I'm afraid of dying. So many terrible stories how we die. I do not wish to believe them. I wish, I wish to, to live. live, she said. Please save me. I'm an old woman under sentence of death, and I'm afraid it is terrible to grow old, to be afraid. It's terrible to be under sentence of death. I could only agree with her. I resumed our conversation in French, and I started for some reason to tell her a story by Maupassant. At the end of the story, a man an old man, a, a gentleman and a lady. Great artists from a past era dance the minuet in the Jardin de Luxembourg. It's shadows of their orchestra. Eyes watching their every move. Eyes of blue and green, the green of all eternity. The, the ghosts of all they loved and they lost. Like, like a clockwork toy, they dance.
and at its end they fell weeping into each other's arms, remembering, remembering their youth when they were brave. Brave, dancing. Throughout the story, the old woman, she said nothing. She didn't look at me until I told her the last line. No doubt you find this ridiculous. Absolutely inconsequential, like, like birds. Birds sing. I think I may have saved her, but it is doubtful. May soon be time to drink tea. How do you know? I can smell a samovar. Good. Oh. Good. Samovars. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm.